Hi, I'm Jay. I run a website called Big Wave Surfing and today I'll be showing you a book that came out a few months ago by Derek Dunvey. It's called Waking Up in the Sea. And um, I gotta say, I don't want to be corny or uh, sound like a salesperson, but I really think you should get this fucking book because it is just, it's just not just very unique or beautiful or entertaining or inspiring for anybody surfing, especially if you're, if you're on your journey to surf bigger waves, this is some really good stuff. Um, but it's also really brave because um, he is currently off social media uh, because he's taking a break, because um, he's dealing with um, really serious brain damage from concussions, from surfing, and that results in all kinds of uh, really challenging emotions um, that are tough, real tough to deal with. And it's a long, long healing process. So I found this book through uh, Sean Dollar's Instagram account, who also, um, he, he broke his neck a few years ago and uh, figured out over time that he actually had brain damage from, probably from surfing, and uh, had all these like white spots in his head that really affected his emotions, his view on life, anger issues, suicidal thoughts obviously this all affected his family life and his uh, his professional life and uh, clearly um way beyond just recovery of the physical there was there was emotional serious emotional damage if you're going through this or if you know somebody who's going through this please do go to his website and find this article about it i will also share it in all the descriptions of these videos but um, he wrote an article about his personal journey, which is already pretty uh, eye-opening to read and, and a little, uh, it's shocking really and, and, and sad and uh, very emotional, but it's, it's really important to read and it's good to read. And it's great that somebody's actually so vocal and open about something that might have been just dismissed or even people might have been unaware of this in the past. But the best thing about that article is that he shares at the end all the personal, all the things he's doing for his recovery. And he is recovering fairly, pretty good, I think. I am looking forward to seeing him again. But in the article, you can see everything from like his uh, diet, the actual medical treatment he gets, the scans, the doctors he talks to, what he does physically. It's like a bunch of links. So please share that and, and use it to your advantage or to other people, to help other people out there. Um, so, uh, yeah, he, he talked about this book and I reached out to Derek, uh, cause I wanted to, uh, to, sh to write an article about this issue. Cause it's not just them two, it's also other big wave surfers. I think Albi Layer is suffering from concussions right now. Cole Christensen had an incident at Pipeline that seemed to also have either a concussion or some serious, uh, I I'm not entirely sure if it's concussions or not but in in general this is a this is happening and uh thankfully people start to open up about it and share this publicly and i think this book it is a beautiful example of that so it's very brave that's kind of like my point so let me talk you through the book uh, real quick i can clearly not share everything but it's important to know that he won a prize about biggest wave or wave of the year or something uh, at Mavericks at some point. And then he traveled the world to see if he could surf that well at other places. And through that had uh, all kinds of interesting experiences that he shares in this book. Um, but after these, um, um, he shares a couple of really serious um, accidents he had or um, where he got damaged and one of them is or probably the main one is his drowning at Cortes Bank um, and yes it is a drowning you can still survive that Greg Long went to some through something similar he also wrote a fantastic article called Elimination um, and I think it was public published on the surfer in surfer magazine it's still on their site I'll also share that link read it I think no matter what kind of surfer you are it is a really uh, well-written, um, eye-opening piece about the commitment of these guys who surf like the, the tallest waves they can find, like absurd, 
beyond what you can imagine. And, and he is basically underwater, drowning, and he talks you through everything and the whole experience. And um, yeah, pretty serious stuff. So you might end up, uh, found this video through looking for some entertainment uh, and it's here, but yeah, there's consequence to these things. So let's talk about it and let's share it. And the way Derek shared this in this way, I think is phenomenal. So um, my point was he still surfs um, but he kind of like changed his approach a little bit, uh, I think a few years ago already by um, taking pictures. So he would still be out in really, really big waves, but he would document it and share that with people. And he's taken some really cool pictures. Uh, and this book is a really good collection because, you know, you can imagine a surfing book, a, a book about big wave surfing and you picture like beautiful pictures of big waves and scary and woo, great, like, you know, like, um, what do you call it? coffee table kind of kind of pretty and you know it's there i mean look at this Woo. Woo. how can you not feel the fear but also the excitement Woo. right so it's there but it also has like these pretty artistic pictures like this is a good example here check this out so nazare from yeah from the back beautiful shot could easily be in surfer magazine uh, or in an art gallery or of some sort but also death defying reality that is just or or you know picture perfect I can feel I mean how do how can you not be scared of this and feel the excitement at the same time so um, lots of really hardcore big wave surfing but also it's just kind of like It's like you're watching a really good documentary in which he's taking you on his personal journey and you're kind of like sitting there, you hear him talk and you feel it, you can smell it, you can taste all this shit. It's just, and the way he does it is with not that much text, you know, like, look, it's like small pieces like that now and then and lots of images, but the images are not all that slick, you know, here, look. Clear shot. I loved every second of it. This was about his first time surfing uh, sunset and being kind of pushed into big waves by his peers. And um, man, this book is fucking awesome. But you know, it's also like more blurry stuff or like um, faded memory, kind of like, I don't know. I, I guess I made my point um, about the, the quality of the pictures, but what I'm most excited about is his ability to tell the story and to take you through this in a cinema top cinema top documentary style <laughs> um and let me read something to you because maybe that makes the takes the point across so at some point he gets invited invited can you imagine invited to come surf mavericks by one of the locals that he meets um, in the tropics hardcore guy by the way zach warmhout so he has an intro that is legit and um, he decides to not tell anybody, right? He lives in La Jolla in San Diego, pretty hardcore surf community. And he doesn't want the pressure. He doesn't want to have to deal with that, uh, with that internal pressure or the fear or expectations. So he's secret. The only person that knows is his shaper and he shapes him a gun and he trains and he stays in touch with Zach and they text. And I think the, the, the strategy was to start on a small day um, which probably will never play out, or at least in his case didn't. And um, uh, so at some point he gets the call, it's on, right? And, uh, and he's driving north. So if you've ever been in California, this is clearly Highway 1 uh, going north. Uh, I personally, uh, like an awesome highway. Um, and at this point you're already like completely engaged in his story. Like, yeah, I would keep it quiet fuck yeah, this is like scary, but I also would not, not go because I got this guy, they become friends, it's invite, what a chance, you know, so there's, um, well, anyway. <laughs> so here we go, we're driving north, right? We're driving north, we got the gun, never used. We got the one friend that invited us to Santa Cruz and we're going solo. So he says, long solo drives can do your head in when your destination is one of the world's deadliest waves. It is easy to second guess 
imagine worst case scenarios and run through all the preparation you've done to get to this point. One thing that gave me peace during that first trip was knowing that I was in for it for the long haul, in it for the long haul, and that no external voices, forces made me feel like I had to go. I've got all the time in the world, I said to myself, as I cranked up the reggae and tried not to think about it. And then he gets, you know, introduced to all the, you know, Mavericks legends and he's like a little intimidated and humble and Skin Dog is kind of like teasing him a little bit. And, you know, it's just like, if you want to surf big waves, you know exactly what these guys are. And if you can imagine going there and then hanging out with them the night before, that is both awesome and at the same time, really fucking intimidating. So, um, I just love that part of the book. It's not so much machismo or like, look at me, I'm so great. It's a lot about, yeah, going through it and being honest about that journey. So, um, there's a one p part of this story that I particularly like, or that, that I mean, I love all of it, but that's, uh, I think, a good example of how he tells the story with, with light, like a good photographer, and with timing and with words, which is like, it, it is just like a movie, basically. So here he's talking about they're driving up in the morning to for that swell and everybody's quiet because they've now known the buoy readings on what they're getting into. And it's 21 feet at 17 seconds, which is clearly in the crazy zone, to say the least. Um, that is like... <laughs> Well, look it up, I'd say. It's not small. <laughs> so um, he makes a point that he's probably just gonna watch that day, right? It says, he says, for me, here, we silently made our one hour trek to the harbor with our own ideas of what these buoy readings meant for the morning ahead. For me, it meant my chance of just being an observer on my first day at Mavericks increased tenfold. So we're going from this, we can feel the anticipation, kind of like still sleepy, right? Drinking coffee, being quiet, boom, to this. Da, 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 da. Fucking hardcore, <laughs> you know, like looking at the Mavericks ball from the lip, you know? And it's like, if you look at this book and you don't surf, you might think like, oh, well, what's that? You know, it's just a bunch of foam. That's not too bad. And there's guys on jet skis and they're far from the rock, you know, and there's like a nice, what's that? The salad looks, looks nice. But if you look closer, these two guys are a rescue team. And they're, I think this is somebody's board who's just coming up from a nice tombstoning climb up to the surface. And all this foam is not regular foam. That foam is like, if you look at the, if you have the book and you look at the size of the foam in the back coming up, that's easily what? Let's look at this jet ski. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's bigger than the jet ski, right? It's just, that place is so fucking violent. It is just beyond comprehension unless you're there and in it. And I think this picture does an awesome job in getting you excited uh, and nervous for what's coming ahead, just like when you're actually going surfing bigger waves, whatever the size is, you know, it really doesn't matter. If you're going on the journey, you are gonna get nervous. You're gonna be waxing up, getting your gear, feeling sick to your stomach, but still going. You know, you're gonna be not wanting to go. You're gonna pedal out and think, what the fuck am I doing here? Which is what I think when I look at that picture. And then hopefully you'll catch a wave or maybe wipe out and it's not that bad and you try some more, whatever it is, but he just, it's just the real deal. It, this is really how uh, how it feels. So, um, yeah, the book continues. It's like fairly, fairly uh, thick. And, you know, I read it the moment I got it, finished it like the same night. Clearly, it's not that many words, but, you know, I just and I've been reading it over and over again. And, you know, the story is pretty straightforward. He's a surfer. He likes to surf. He meets other surfers around the world. He gets invited to Mavericks. He starts surfing bigger waves. He wins prizes, goes around the globe, meets more big wave surfers, has multiple accidents, which he tells you in detail, 
and then has to live with the consequences of those choices. And they really affect his life, adds photography, and now adds book. I hope he will add documentary making, even though he won't need it, because this book, he can make 20 of those, and it will still be awesome. So, you can get it at DerekDunvey.com. I will also share the surf shops where you can buy it. They'll probably be selling out pretty quick. Um, I would say if you like this book, if you're a server, you want to get it, I would highly recommend getting it straight from his website. That will give him an extra boost of support. He is taking a break from social media as we record this because as he posted, he wants to focus on his recovery. Um, I can wish him, even though we never met in person, I wish you the best of the recovery. I mean, I just, basically, I want to really thank you for making this book and speaking out and giving everybody in the world access to not just big wave surfing, but also some of the downsides of it and doing it in a beautiful way. So his last shot, let me share it with you, is hopeful. And I think he is in kind of like the early stage of this, um, well, I don't know. I don't know, it is, might have been years, but anyway, this is Derek at the end of the story, he's telling you that looks, that looks good, right? It looks hopeful. I, I was um, very moved by the book. I was even a little worried about him. So I wish you best of luck. Please come back. Let's go surf together. I will not surf the same huge waves that you will try and attempt, but maybe I'll be chickening in the, challenge, in the channel and be like this and then go back in. <laughs> but um, yeah, hang in there. Thank you. And um, hang tight. Bye-bye.